that's where we get the conclusion that DF is always going to be half the length of AC. Well, let's look at why the mid-segment will be parallel to the third side. And it's a similar reason. To get to the midpoint D, we go halfway up. And I'm meaning halfway up the length from side AC to point B. To get to midpoint F, we also go halfway up. Well, we're going halfway up of this big line here. It's the same distance. So D and F are the same distance above side AC. Because of that, because this line is the same distance from AC, that means that the lines are parallel. We know if we have non-parallel lines, then the distance that the lines are from each other changes as we move out from the point of intersection. So if we have a line that is always the same distance from another line, the two lines must be parallel. Let's look at some sample problems. If this all makes sense to you, if you understand the explanation, feel free to go on to some sample problems and I'll go through those solutions in the next video.